This is the Ulanzi D200H dock. It is part macro keyboard as well as a dock for your computer. So instead of using complicated hotkeys or going down a long menu to complete some task you're trying to do, simply program it to a button, push the button, and boom, it's done. And that's the magic that this dock promises. It's actually made my editing a lot faster, made my computer desk a lot cleaner, and has simplified my life. If you're looking to upgrade your desk setup or improve your productivity, then stick around because I'll show you exactly how to set this thing up to do exactly that. For those of you who are unaware, what is a macro keyboard? A macro keyboard is a keyboard that allows you to assign certain functions to the keys. And so you can open different applications, open a web browser, open a specific page on that web browser. Or in the case of editing, you can do a certain complex tasks like adding a clip to the timeline and trimming it down or other things like that. Simply put, one key allows you to do multiple actions at once. And this thing is super easy to install. It only comes with one cable, which is a USB-C for the dock. And then you get the other end that goes to your computer or setup that has USB-A or USB-C connectivity. From there, you just have to download the Ulanzi Studio app. And once you have the app downloaded, it may ask you to update the firmware. Once that's all done, you're finally able to customize this to your liking. And the first thing I did was actually went into the marketplace that they call it. And I downloaded some presets for apps I commonly use like Premiere Pro, Lightroom, and so on. These presets were absolutely free. So don't be thrown off by the word marketplace. They're a great starting point since they already have some programmable hotkeys set within them. And so customizing from there becomes a lot easier than starting from scratch. And the default page comes with a bunch of presets already built in like certain common websites, even AI pages like ChatGPT. And so I personally customize that to more of the web pages and apps that I most commonly use like Frame.io, my Gmail, ChatGPT and Gemini, and of course the whole Adobe suite for my workflow. All right, so how has this thing actually changed the way you work? So I did mention earlier that this is part macro keyboard as well as part dock. Let's cover the dock functionalities now. All around the dock is a bunch of ports so you can actually connect all your devices and even SD cards or micro SD cards to the dock and just have one cable running to your computer. This helps keep your desk so much cleaner and tidier than having all these cables running around, especially on a lap or laptop setup where you're going to have it going through this port, that port and all over. Whereas with this setup, you really just have it all going to the dock and the dock just has one single cable to your computer. And you can even do power delivery through the dock. There is a port on the back that has a little lightning bolt. So you know, it's the power delivery one and it can do up to 100 watts of power delivery, which is more than enough for most laptops that do heavy intensive work like video editing. I've been absolutely loving having a much cleaner setup and having everything just go through the dock. And so that when I do take my laptop to go somewhere else like work in the office, I just disconnect the dock and then I can very easily grab my laptop and head to work. And then of course, it also transforms the way you work through its macro keyboard functionality, which we went through. Having these hotkeys really makes you work more efficiently and faster. I've personally programmed mine for Adobe Premiere Pro to go around certain functions I use a lot, like the ease in and ease out for keyframes, global effects mute, proxy enablement and disablement, and to open up certain panels like my effects panels, Lumetri Color, and the Lumetri Scopes panel. For Adobe Lightroom, the presets that came in the marketplace pretty much covered all the functions already used and had multiple pages. And so I didn't really do much customization other than organizing the pages so that the most often used hotkeys are on the first page and then the lesser ones on the further pages. Lastly, let me talk about my experience and what I'd recommend for those looking into a dock system like this. First off, I have really enjoyed the dock one because it makes the desk a lot cleaner as we've previously mentioned, and it's actually made editing and even working a little more fun. 
there is something to having like a tactical keyboard, especially with the light up screen and these icons that are really bright. You can adjust that in the settings if you'd like as well. And so when I do get to use it, like if I wanna open up ChatGPT, for example, or even YouTube Studio, it's much more fun for me to go reach over to the cat macro keyboard, click the links, go to those two buttons, hit those, and then my web browser opens up with them already. Not only is it actually saving me time instead of going into the web browser, clicking it, typing up these pages and then hitting enter and then going to the next tab and doing the same thing, it's also a lot more fun. And the icons on the dock are fully customizable. I believe the resolution is like 196 by 196. And so I just made that size in Canva and I made some custom icons for some of the features and apps and even web pages that I use most commonly. The Ulanzi deck is smart enough to import an icon, especially when you link it to a web page very easily. But I did notice with like uh, Google applications like Gmail and YouTube, it just kept using the same Google icon. And so those ones I ended up having to customize myself. And I think the biggest selling point of this dock is that it's $89 versus many competitors are a few hundred dollars, sometimes even $300 for effectively the same product. I've had no issues transferring files using the SD card and micro SD card port. I've even connected my SSD to one of the USB-C terminals and it reads and writes extremely fast, no issues with that whatsoever. So you're not losing any functionality or key features that this dock provides that you don't get with the more expensive ones, which I think is a great deal. It does take some time to set up, so you are gonna put some upfront and effort looking for the application presets and then changing those based on the most common hotkeys you want and you use. But once you do that, it's actually saving you so much time in the future. So who is this deck for? Well, anyone who likes macro keyboards or likes the idea of a macro keyboard saving them some time by doing these complex tasks with just one button. Anyone who's looking for a dock so they can consolidate all their inputs to one device and then send that off to another device using one cable. And three, anyone who's into productivity, this thing can save you a lot of time, especially if you go deep in the weeds of programming it. If you wanna grab the Ulanzi D200H, there will be a link in the description box below. But what do you think? Is this dock something you'd be interested in even at this low price point? If you liked this gear review, you can check out my full gear review playlist over here. Thank you so much for watching all the way until the end. I appreciate every single one of you who do, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.